This is Professor Pete Alexander with the Winning a Business and Life podcast, where business leaders share their insights. It is six questions in seven minutes, because successful business leaders are busy and rarely have more time to spare. So let's get to it. Question number one, in a few sentences, please tell me who you are and what you do. Thank you, Pete. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. I'm always happy to carve out a few minutes to come spend some time and have a conversation. I'm Jacques-Philippe Pivelger. I run a venture capital fund called Ozone X, and we specifically target underrepresented founders, namely women, people of color, groups that have been largely marginalized, and we ensure that they're getting you know, financial and other support in order to thrive. Jacques-Philippe, it is so great to have you on the show. Question number two, what is something that makes you smile and or laugh about working in your industry? You know, I think some people you might ask that it might take a while to to figure it out. For me, it's quite easy. It's literally everything I do in my industry. (laughs) I sometimes think of what I do as a compilation of many things that I've enjoyed throughout my career. So I enjoy mentorship and support of others. Mm -hmm. I enjoy building businesses and enterprise. I enjoy investing. I enjoy the construct of impact and support. And historically, I've done that simultaneously through different activities, kind of night and day and weekends. Uh, whereas with Ozone X, I'm able to do it all under one roof and work with people that I really appreciate and have tremendous respect for. So, you know, I love everything that I do. Oh, I love it. And I could hear the passion in your voice. It's really fun. Question Thank number you. three. I have a fictitious book with all the answers for business. What chapter would you think most companies should read? Uh, I think, and it's funny because, you know, I I did finance at Georgetown, business school at Dartmouth, and you learn all this stuff. But I remember I had a dean at Dartmouth sit me down one time and he said, look, the things you're learning here are going to be super important in kind of the first five years out because it'll help you progress. But the most important stuff is the, the people elements and it's the relationship, it's the human elements. And so I'd say, I imagine there's definitely a, a robust chapter in that book on humans and relationships mm-hmm. and integrity and establishing trust. Mm-hmm. And I would really, if you could only read one chapter, then that's the one I would really suggest that uh, one leads into if they want to stand the test of time. Mm-hmm. And I think you're, you're, what you're saying about... Yeah. The test of time is so, so right because, yeah, it's, it's about the people because if, if you're, there's no trust, as you said there, I imagine it's just going to be a terrible place to work. So question, exactly. number, question number four, other than the generic work harder, have a great attitude and care for customers, what advice or insight would you give to other business leaders? You know, the first thing that comes to mind is to really have a North Star, have something that you stand for and be willing to take risks and go for it. And don't be compelled to follow the crowd, Uh, especially in this day and age where the news cycles are so short and everybody's chasing kind of the easy uh, way of things. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, I would suggest that, you know, someone really, you know, hone in and look to, um, you know, have something specific and be dedicated and focus and continue to build over time. And, you know, don't, don't look for shortcuts is, is what I would say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that's really insightful. And I like that, like how you say it, looking uh, for the North Star, because, yeah, there is no shortcuts to getting there. You, you use that as, as, as basically the, the, the direction you have to go and just stick to it. So it's very insightful. Thank you. Question number five, sure. what other business leader like yourself would you like to acknowledge and invite to be on my podcast? Hmm. I mean, there's so many business leaders that I admire and respect. Uh, one that just comes to mind in the moment I was on a panel with him some time ago and, you know, since developed a a good rapport, Uh, a guy named Joel Solomon. Mm -hmm. um, He wrote a book called The Clean Money Revolution. And 
what I like about him, he's, he has a great deal of experience. He's been in the investment world for, you know, 30, 40 years. Uh, so he brings that knowledge and understanding of the subject matter. But at the same time, he has tremendous heart and he's willing to, you know, speak, you know, truth to power and really tell it like it is. And it's kind of a, a rare thing these days. And so I think uh, the audience would benefit a lot. Perfect. I'll reach out to him. Thank you for that referral. And our final question, question number six, please tell me about your first job. First job. Um, I guess that would be in high school. And it was at the local park up the street from school. Um, and so, you know, it was interesting. It was all good to start making some money of my own. And uh, yeah, you know, I learned quite a bit just in terms of follow through and responsibility and, you know, being willing to do any kind of work um, and that there's just value in, in getting a job done and, and doing it well. Um, and one of the things I partially picked up there and I've generally shared with folks is no matter what the job is, uh, give it your all and do it at you know your best capacity because oftentimes when people are doing jobs that they don't enjoy they don't do it well mm -hmm. and you actually end up doing that same job even longer because <laughs> no one else wants you <laughs> so uh yeah that was one of the things i learned uh from working at the local park it was called cagney park in uh north miami um you know many moons ago Oh, great story. I love just that you shared that. And it's so fun to hear, you know, how you, the, what you learned from that too, because that's that, you know, if we look at even the worst jobs and stuff, there's always something that we can learn to take a, you know, positive learning to whatever else we, we move on to. So great story. And Jacques-Philippe, thank you so much for being on the show. How can people find you? They can find me by emailing me, Jacques at ozonex.com. Um, or they can find me on um, LinkedIn, Jacques Philippe Pivelge, or Instagram, Jacques Pivelge. And, you know, I welcome any insights, ideas, and, you know, Professor Pete, I look forward to building and collaborating with you. And thank you again for having me. Well, I appreciate that. And I thank you for being on the show. And this is Professor Pete Alexander with the Winning at Business and Life podcast. Thanks, everyone, for listening.